I'm Christina Quarles, and I work as an artist and painter in Los Angeles, California. I really will pull from every sort of way that you can describe a body through paint. So I'll use everything from like contour line drawings to sort of these like mottled, rounded gradations to super thick impasto paint and these thin washes. And I'll move from style or technique across a single figure or across multiple figures in a single work. I do draw from my own personal experience when making this work, and I do that so I could really be as specific as possible with the, with the language that I develop and with describing the experience of living within your body. So I really have my own set of experiences to draw from for that. I would describe myself as being a cisgender female, which is probably like one of my more normative <laughs> identities, and then as being somebody who is queer and also somebody who is racially multiple. So I was born to a black father and a white mother. I would say that my, my racial position as being somebody that identifies with both blackness and whiteness, but is often misidentified as white, has something that's really inform the way that I think about living in a body and sort of having these excesses of identity start to bubble up to the surface. And I think of these as, as paintings of living within sort of a disorganized body grappling with this sort of state of excess. Painting just has this sort of crazy long history and all this baggage kind of that goes along with painting and people have a whole set of expectations that they expect when they approach something that's paint on canvas. And it occurred to me that that would be actually like a really interesting conceptual medium to explore sort of the unspoken rules and regulations of having an identity or living within your own body and that we tend to not question any aspect of ourself until it comes into conflict with the norms of moving through the world. So yeah, I think primarily I came to painting from a conceptual place. And then since working in paint, I was able to really find a way of expressing the drawn line, but through, through brushwork and through just all the tools and colors and textures that are available in painting. It's really paintings to describe what it is to feel the sense of needing to compartmentalize and fracture and, and fragment yourself in order to kind of exist in a social world where you do need to be legible and, and have some sort of sense of social understanding with one another. And so I make this work from my own specific set of circumstances and I, I would hope that people that maybe have to experience that more often can look at the work and find solace or find a sense of being understood through the work, but then also that people that maybe are born to a set of identities where they don't have to question who they are as often can look at the work and, and use it as a moment to maybe question a lot of the aspects of themselves that have been taken for granted over the years and question the actual limits of, of who they are.